Oh, well, how's it going tonight there, YouTube? Well, I was trying to get a video made for you guys today. I just had a really busy day today and uh, didn't exactly record any of it. I was just kind of looking to get things kind of done. But uh, anyway, I ran a couple loads of scrap in today and paid for a project I got coming up here. So uh, I'm sure you guys can probably put two and two together out there, but I'll reveal that tomorrow to you guys. And then I made a quick little trip to Jolly's this afternoon. I thinned out the herd a little bit here. Some more, but not too much. But, uh, yeah. yeah. I thought you guys would like to know. I got the proper tires for the W4 kit. Got the beefier rear tire down now, like the one that Nick has in his showcase. And, uh, it looks a heck of a lot better. Looks a lot better, because basically I had these tires on before so these ones are a little bit thicker looks a lot better and uh... my furnace is coming on here so that's going to interrupt my shot here a little bit so uh... i'll be back with you guys in a second okay so back to what i was saying here about the little W4 <coughs> I also wanted to add that uh... if any of you guys are interested in one of these kits not only can you talk to Nick but you can talk to myself as well because me and Nick are kind of working on a little plan here that i can uh... also deal in these kits for you guys as well i know that the kits are a little bit pricey but you know a kit you can't just go to the store and buy it and whatnot they're a very very nice kit and if you guys want to see how to put one together i have a video on the w4 kit as well i know the kits for the w4 retail around 150 dollars and if you want to go to dollars and just go buy a <clears throat> buy a w4 i'll paint it and put together with the decals on it's around 275 dollars i believe the cockshot 30 uh he's got a massey 22 kit i believe he's got a massey 44 standard kit if you guys go to that uh Jolly's open house video, he, you guys will see the display case right there, right by his front door, you'll see in the video. He's also got a, a newly re released kit that they just got in there, they're doing uh, Mass Harris, the general purpose four wheel drive, so that was a pretty neat kit too. He's also got, uh, let me say this, the average kit price around $150, um, something like, he's got a binder kit, I believe he's got Mass Harris and McCormick Deering, he's got sickle mowers, those kits are, I think they're a little bit less expensive. I think they're still around $100, $125. I don't quite remember off the top of my head right now. Of course, he's got steam engine kits. Those are around six, dollars $700 when you start getting into one of those kits. They're a really, really difficult kit to put together, but the turnout is amazing. He's got, uh, I was looking today at, uh, I believe it was a John Gustin steam engine, and it's beautiful. Would love to have it on my shelf. He's also got uh, thrash machines as well. So, got a lot of really, really neat stuff. And uh, if any of you guys are interested in, uh, kit by all means you can either speak to myself or Nick and then we can see what we can do for you anyway now I know I said I thinned out my herd here a little bit I actually want to tell a little story that Nick was telling me you guys remember that John Deere 820 from Steph and I got <clears throat> I bought it on eBay he was saying he had one of those and the prices on those Steph and tractor on all the Steph and products are, are dropping right down because they're so fragile actually I, want, I was gonna Selling the 820 today, but he's, he wasn't interested just in particular because they're just so fragile. He said he had one, and he, he bought it, and he literally carried it from his front office to his storage shelf, and it almost crumbled right in his hands. He, he said the fenders fell off, the seat fell off, the motor fell on the floor. It was just a very delicate piece. So that one I kept, and then, uh, oh yeah, this 1466 kit, if any of you guys are interested in that, send me a message there and we'll see if we can do some business and whatnot. I actually might pick up that Massey Ferguson kit just for a laugh and then we'll go from there since I kind of play this buy and sell game. But of course you guys know me well enough and as I, as I always say, once a collector, always a collector. I didn't leave Nick's empty handed. I didn't go grab the case trapper knife and I'll show you guys what's inside that box. A little 164 scale. It's actually the 2017 Toy Farmer Alice Chalmers 440, actually the one I wanted to do for my giveaway, which I wanted to say congratulations to Trevor Horvath once again. Um, I have the complete four-wheel drive series from the Toy Farmer for, that they've been putting out. I believe I started in 2002 or 2003, and I believe it was the uh, 7520, or sorry, 7020 John Deere there. I might try to get a shot for you guys. I, get, I got all the boxes, of course, and I'll uh, line the boxes up, and I'll take a shot for Instagram or something or I'll stick it in here. Anyway, I'll grab the case trap and we'll do a little unboxing just for a laugh. 
I already cut the tape open on the box. That's the box Ertl ships all these uh, toys into. Of course, you've got. You guys can see that right there. Alice Chalmers 440. I believe this has been a long time request for tractor collectors here for a while. There you go. Toy Farmer always had some really cool box art on their toys. This is for the 40th annual National Farm Toy Show held in Dyersville, Iowa. It's usually the first week, weekend in November. Never been, but Nick had Nick from Jolly's there. He's been down there. I would love to go. Just even go tour around, even don't buy something. I just like, like to make the trips. Like I say, I've been there. Anyway, we'll get her opened up here a little bit. They do. They do have a really nice setup here. Hey, check that out. That's some big tractor power. There, another shout out to BigTractorPower.com. Check that out. That is a really nice piece. It's even got cab glass in it too, by the looks of it. Yeah, it does too. Rubber air cleaner. The usual tires they put on the toy farmer tractor. You can line them all up side by side and you can see the tires are pretty much all the same. Very nice piece. I'm impressed. I don't know if you guys have heard or not yet in the farm toy community that the 2018 National Farm Toy Show tractor is an international harvester. I believe it's a 4166 this year on singles. So I'll pick that up just to continue our lineup and whatnot. Plus I've already got a pretty large selection of 164 scale IH tractors. Anyway, I'll put that in the cabinet. Or maybe I'll even get those boxes out and I'll do a little line up for you guys here anyway what do you guys think pretty neat piece eh i was gonna try to oh yeah and by the way they all have their little stamp on there it'll say nfts and then whatever year so this of course being last year being 2017 they all have that stamp on them so yeah i'm pretty happy with that okay well here's the complete lineup of the Toy Farmer four wheel drive series tractors. Now I know they started the Evolution series I think in uh, 2013 I believe. Yeah the Evolution series. Yeah they started in 2013 but it's basically still all the four wheel drive stuff. <clears throat> so of course the 440 I just got from Nick this afternoon. The 7020 which was put out in 2003. So basically how I got started in the Toy Farmer toys, I started getting Toy Farmer magazine in 2006 and then of course I saw the, uh, what number was that again? 43, 4366, the 4366 was the first one I saw, so I saw the advertisement for that, I was like, hmm, kind of like to have that tractor, so I then ordered that and then of course I knew about the other ones I had, so I think I ordered the 06, the 07. No, I ordered the 08 one first because I missed 07. <clears throat> and then I kind of got looking and oh, they had an Oliver, so I'll add the Oliver. And then I just kept on adding to it throughout the years and I had the complete lineup and I've had every single one. Other than obviously the forty, the, the 440 or other since uh, the magazine advertisement came out. But what's neat about Toy Farmer, the alternate branch. So one year they'll do IH, next year they'll do Agco. Next year they'll do IH, next year go back to Agco. There was a licensing issue with John Deere, and John Deere wouldn't let them do their tractor until recently. They did the 8650 in 2016. Of course, their first one was a John Deere, of course, but uh, as you can see, look at the lineup. There's the Deere and the Massey. Actually, I believe, if my theory's correct, I believe between the Oliver the Massey Ferguson, those are the hardest two to find if you're, ever, if you're trying to put this lineup together. They're the hardest of all of them to find, I do believe. I've read that somewhere before. So I do remember, I paid, I think, almost $45, $50 to, just to get that one tractor, but I had almost every single one. I think I bought that in 2015, I think. So I had every single other one. I was trying to complete the lineup. So 
I think I, well, I know I started with the 06, 4366 there, and then I kept adding, and then I'd find a few pieces, and I'd add that, and add this one, and I'd come across one. I think that was the most expensive one, even more than the Oliver. That's a little bit of history for you guys here on the Toy Farmer Tractors. Anyway, before I end this vlog here, I also, while I was down at Nick's, I picked up a set of decals for the John Deere 7010 we're working on. I think tomorrow I might actually get a chance to sandblast that. Of course, I'm going to obviously uh, reveal the big project I got sitting up front there. And I uh, also picked up the new Farm Toy Price Guide. I tell everybody kind of joking, this is like the Bible for Farm Toy Collectors. Every good collector needs to have one of these. The last one I got was from 2013, so haven't had an updated one yet so I got that from Nick today as well anyway you guys know how it goes if you're interested in sending me a tractor combine piece of equipment for the greatest farm toy collection on YouTube which is obviously fan mail from you guys the PO box address in the description box down below and if you guys like what you see please comment rate subscribe and I will see you guys tomorrow have a good night